This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I've got a game that's like a spaceship shooter with some puzzle elements that stars a hummingbird on the Sega 32X, which means it can only be Calibri. For a second there, I thought I was playing Thunder Force. What is this, Hunter? Kind of. It's Calibri for the Sega 32X, a 32X exclusive. And a game that's unlike any other game I've, I've ever played. Like a combination puzzle game and hummingbird spaceship shooter. Calibri is... is something else. You're either going to love it or find it disinteresting. One or the other. You have to approach Calibri like it's a work of art, because it's completely abstract compared to most other games. You start out and, and you have really no idea what to do. You can't shoot or anything. You're flying around this forest, and only when you, um... What do hummingbirds do? Do they attack flowers and then rip the nectar out of them? I don't even think I've ever seen a hummingbird. I'll put them in the same category as unicorns. Animals I someday want to make a sandwich out of. Dig the harp, kids. Dig the harp! More games need a harp, like when you level up in Call of Duty. It should play a harp. Anyway, check, check out the visuals in this game. They're incredible. Calibri is gorgeous. And the music is pretty cool, too. Although, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the gameplay. But that's not to say you won't be, so let's, let's check out the game and see what it's all about. Because it's not likely you have Calibri in your collection. I'd say it's unlikely you have a working Sega 32X. Sega's bizarre, failed Genesis add-on increased the power of the Genesis, delivering awesome games like Cosmic Carnage to the lucky few who have it. Personally, I like the 32X because it's quirky and it makes the Genesis look super cool when it's perched on top, like the king of a mountain. Even better when it's combined with the Sega CD because then you have three power adapters. Released in 1994, the 32X allowed Genesis or Mega Drive owners to double the power of their amazing 16-bit game system, allowing for improved visuals and better sound as you can see in Calibri, which certainly makes good use of this thing. But the game is so abstract that it's not one you can go into and expect it to play like any one thing you've played before. It's certainly not a spaceship shooter, but it's also not a standard puzzle game. It's somewhere in between. Stay away from the frog, that thing will eat you. As you can see, there's no score on screen. The objective of Calibri is to play through the game, not score big points by blowing up aliens. Some of the levels are pretty straightforward like this one. Just shoot everything that gets in your way and, and make it through the level. Others are like puzzle levels. This is from the creators of Echo the Dolphin, and, and it kind of reminds me of a uh, less playable Mr. Bones on the Sega Saturn. Another game I'm actually reviewing right now. So major points for the developers back in the mid-90s, pushing the envelope and trying new things. Something you just don't see a whole hell of a lot of these days. Let's have a sequel! To a sequel! Of a sequel, and then a sequel of the sequel. Your hummingbird doesn't maneuver like a spaceship. It's, it's not crisp and easily controllable. It, it's like a bird. It, it doesn't do exactly what you want it to. And while there's a whole bunch of different weapon power-ups, they all do pretty much the same thing. Most of them lock on to enemies and blow them up. Sometimes you have to find a thing to destroy those rocks. The early levels in the game are really easy, but then they eventually get tricky and extremely long. It's hard to stay alive, especially when you lose some of your extra hummingbirds. You can't see it on screen, but you have extra lives. And the problem is if you get killed off, you then restart the level, and you've only got one extra life. Well, then it's pretty frustrating. You have a lot of cool weapons, but without a scoring system, there's not a good reason to keep coming back and playing Calibri once you've figured it out. And that's the game's biggest problem. Once the novelty wears off, 
you'll move on to something else like Cosmic Carnage on the 32X, which is infinitely enjoyable. But Calibri is a beautiful work of art, so credit where credit's due. So I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Scott from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Scott, for sending Calibri. To summarize, kids, you're a hummingbird and your mission is to save nature. It's interesting. I'm not sure I would recommend running out and hunting down a copy, but if you happen to see it in the wild and you have a 32X, all three of you, you may want to check it out. It's Calibri, the first and only hummingbird spaceship shooter I think I've ever played.